Hi there everyone and this is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com and in this video we are doing a pick a card reading. So I know a lot of you guys have already done a lot of pick a card through YouTube. Um and for this segment I am wanting to do a pick a card reading with the question of will I be hearing from this person? Will that special person in my life reach out to me again and will we be able to work out the relationship or not so that is really the the basic of the situation and all you guys have to do is to pick one pile out of the three cards this is the pile number one and i'm using the rhodochrosite pile number two is the moonstone and pile number three is the crystal quartz so you'll just have to focus on whatever uh, stone resonates with you the most and that is going to be the message that is going to be represented with you and this is a timeless reading so it means that um depending on your situation if you are seeing this video at the first time this might be a message for you uh, at that period of time you know that kind of thing so it's not the same with the horoscopes or the predictions that i do on a monthly basis so it's something that can help you with the situation that you have at the moment in time that you are seeing the video basically so um yeah uh, uh without any further ado let's just dive into the reading i'll leave the timestamps below the description of this video please do check it out or you can do uh, some form of comments to leave the timestamps to be able to see um, what stone is for what reading, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading. Okay, so for pile number one, if you have picked out this Rhodochrosite um, tumbled stone this is going to be the reading for you for your question whether if you are going to still receive a message or contact your special person or if the relationship is still gonna work out will you be able to work things out still with that person in mind with that special person you know regardless of who you are thinking at this time um, in terms of your love life and relationships so um we do have a few cards over here and this is the first card that we have this is this is the sun card and this is coming from the karmic tarot um this is the sun which is you know giving us the astrological um energy of the reading so the sun gives a lot of power into things it's just basically shouting the word yes to things you know because it's always you know open for opportunities it it, it is something that you know shines a light into into things all at the same time this is basically you know um also talking about a male energy a male vitality you know it's very strong so it gives me a feeling where it's telling us that yes it's happening yes you can work things out and most likely it might be happening um soon within the year within you know the scope of few months it is something that is you know quite near um in manifestation i would even say uh we have here the, the let me just move these three cards for a while so that we will be able to see what are the cards that are involved we have your trap in fear intuition which is you know can really talk about your spiritual connection and karmic connection with that person and we actually have here the children card and then i decided that i wanted to, to clarify that so and once clarified i got here the give your relationship a chance so this is like very fitting for a lot of people who are concerned about their exes i know not a lot of people you know are are open to that but for this reading um this is about you know past love and exes whether you still be able to get back together or will you still be able to talk to that person so this is a very fitting reading giving us an energy we're in you can still give the relationship a chance in detail though that this is a relationship that you know has encountered a lot of ups and downs you know this is a relationship that yes has given you so much happiness so much joy 
into the situation and it could also be a relationship that i would say that the two of you have a really strong bond it's like a relationship of a soulmate or a twin flame even um and you guys can actually telepathically connect to each other but for some reason maybe how you guys broke up um could be very chaotic i would say because you know there are fears in trying to to talk to each other um there are situations here wherein um there is a situation wherein you know it makes a person you know i don't I'm afraid to talk to them, you know, I'm afraid to to contact them. Why what if they reject me or what if the situation, you know, repeats by itself all over again? There are some form of worries in this. Um, but I kind of feel that, you know, with how the reading is coming along, it makes me feel that um eventually it's like you will have this energy and calling inside of you that you will feel as if you are meant to be with this person and that person is also going to come into that conclusion specifically the other person i feel is right now encountering a lot of things like yes um they are the person that makes you happy it's just that i kind of feel that they might be experiencing various things at this time you know it could be something that is related to you and at the same time it could also be that they could be encountering personal problems that enables them to really come forward into your life during this time but um this is also telling us that there could be a restart button there could be uh, a new beginning of some kind that might be transpiring for the two of you in terms of your relationship with them we have here you know um in lenormand if you you guys know about lenormand children's is all about new beginnings of some kind so there could be a new beginning a new reset button and this is also a situation wherein you know old feelings of the past can resurface and it could be you know coming to a point of being childlike again you know having that form wherein feeling the emotions and situations of how you have felt before you know if you if you have fallen in love with this, this person in the past you know in a way we're in it's very dreamy very um it's like a love at first sight connection i kind of feel that you are going to experience that once again and and it could be something quite similar as well uh this is also a situation wherein you know a lot of feel-good energies is going to be coming in which will over power whatever it is that has happened in your past so something in your past is definitely going to be overpowered now let me just take a look you know uh again to give us more information about this intuition card which i forgot i forgot to check like earlier so hold on a bit as i shuffle the cards and see clarification card or additional information on what this intuition card means um for those people concerned of whether they will be able to have contact and work their relationship once again with this person okay so we have here the waiting game so this is like telling us that you know time could be an essence it's like yes it is all coming along this is really something that is definitely go going to happen it's not going to happen you know very 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 soon but it is at the works of things it could also be that time could be uh, a, a great factor into this reading or um some form of divine timing could be even at play as well there are changes that is going to be transpiring for you and it could be you know uh, there could be some form of challenges in the relationship or on how things might manifest you know it's not as if that if you reach out or no you're not the one who's gonna reach out i actually feel that it could be them reaching out to you because we do have a strong male energy here but it's not as if that if they do reach out to you it's 
it's going to be all solved you know there's going to be a process into things you might you and this person might need to talk about the problems of the relationship once again you know there could be some form of apologies um you know going back in time and um you might even talk about with this person the time apart you know what has happened during that time apart um you both had an experience personally you know those kinds of energy so there's going to be a change of situation and effort being done um to give a relationship a chance now we have here the lenormand card earlier and this is the rider card the scythe and the child card which you know really tells us that this person is going to come in very unexpectedly and you might not be um you know it's something that you are not expecting anymore maybe there was a time wherein you are going to give up you know it's not happening it's not really happening they're not going to reach out and contact me anymore and then suddenly they might just pop into your life once again and that can really you know once they do um the restart the restart button really you know takes in effect and you will be able to start things anew with them and you know they are they're not going to enter your life in a very pessimistic way i kind of feel that you know there is some form of uplifting energy that you are going to feel and you are going to experience with them so if you had some form of problems with this person in the past maybe they had their own problems they have their own issues it could be that uh, they are coming into your life in a in a more positive note i'm not sure if they have already resolved whatever problems or issues they have or whatever baggages that they have but their willpower this time around is a lot stronger maybe they have experienced um a lot during during the silence um of of during the time wherein the two of you have not connected to each other this is going to be really a brand new set of beginning i don't know why but i'm picking up june as a focal energy into things i'm not sure why or this could also be something that is happening within two months um or we have the number two here so it might just be happening on february so we all have this um energy going around here there is going to be happiness in the air but ultimately the answer that we are picking up here is yes and it's going to be happening in a very unexpected way it's going to be happening in a way wherein you you know not within your plan at all you know that kind of energy and once it all happens it's all going to be happening for you in a very forward momentum kind of motion which will definitely give you some form of uplift uplift upliftment when it comes to your feelings and emotions as a whole and this will allow the two of you to be able to express your feelings to each other in a very open way and not in a in a way wherein there is a lot of resentment which the two of you had experience in the past so um yeah this is my reading for the pile one okay so for pile number two if you have picked out the moonstone um this is going to be the reading for you whether you are going to be still having some form of contact with your special person specific person or and if you will be able to still work things out with the relationship with that person all at the same time so this is going to be the reading for you um i did pick out the clarification card over here the first card is actually the the south node which is the dragon's tail and then it is being clarified here by the sun card so these two keeps popping up so i put them together like so we have here the memories of love and the partnership and alliance card this is the uh from the psychic tarot card selection and then we have here the moonstone the moon not the moonstone the moon the house and flowers in lenormand and we have here the card of free yourself and using the romance angel deck 
basically so that is going to be the reading for you okay so um this is basically giving us some form of you know like it's telling us that yes uh you will be able to work out things in the relationship but it's not going to be easy especially when we have the south node over there because we know that the south node you know um both the north node and the south node can be very karmic but with the south node in specific it gives me a feeling that there are lessons in the relationship there could be problems in the relationship even and it could be that there are core issues that needs to get resolved into the relationship before things really gets better there could be also a situation here that you keep thinking about the past you keep thinking of what worked out in the relationship you might be thinking about how in the past we're so lovely and everything is really really nice and really really good and then suddenly right now you are in a situation wherein you feel stuck you might not be completely happy in the situation that you are in you know you might be you know i would say that it you know it has an energy of very neptune like uh, qualities we're in you are you know you are very very emotional during this time you know you are you keep thinking of how things were in the past um and how everything was so perfect everything was so happy you know there's a lot of happiness um you are getting from that relationship and then suddenly you know um things has become difficult for some people who has no contact with their person this could be a situation we're in um this is like telling us that you might receive contact with that person but all at the same time there's also going to be some form of realization about that relationship like you know um it's like telling us that you might receive contact but the relationship might not work out as you would like it to be um and this is because of how much you are thinking about the past and that might be brought to the relationship even if you guys have contact with each other because you know um, sometimes it's very easy to get contact with that person that we are wanting to be with it's just that you know working for the relationship we we might be so focused on the happiness that we have received in the past the things that had already happened you know i cannot emphasize it a lot you know things that had happened how things were those kinds of energies in place that things in most likely in the past tense and you might be wishing to experience that once again and you know how they enter your life this time around you know things might have changed and uh, this might be causing you some form of frustration in the air you know and you know there could be some form of karmic lessons that you might need to experience all at the, at, at the uh, as a result so i would say that you know the contact might even be coming from uh, social media or something that has to do with the internet uh technology kind of stuff that might be uh something that goes here and at the same time i'm seeing more of the frustration and feeling stuck you know some form of setback slow movement and irritability um happening here especially with the free yourself card and because the last card of the deck here is unrequited love i'm not saying that that is something that you are going to be experiencing it's just that there is a possibility here that what you are feeling is not something the other person might be you know feeling basically you know something is not matching up something is not in line maybe they have already outgrown certain things and you are still hung up with um the person that they were before so it's like you're still in love with the person of their past you know the past version of them you know you're not entirely focusing on the person that they are right now and this is especially true especially if you haven't been um in touch with them for such a long time and then suddenly they enter your life you know they are a different person now uh, there are some form of maturities and experiences that they might have already occurred they might have experienced all those kinds of stuff 
and this might make you feel unsure of whether uh, you know is, you might still be questioning is this really going to be working out for the two of us or not yes we might have resolved the partnership we, we might have been together again and for some of you this could be a situation wherein you might need to reconsider things so the south node uh, basically is a card of reconsideration all at the same time you know there's something that you know uh it's telling you that um making you rethink various things basically that kind of energy even though that there is a lot of goodness into the situation you know we have the moon card the house card and the flowers card this is you know a very romantic energy and this could be something that you are going to be feeling uh but it all at the same time it gets it's just give it's just it is just giving me that kind of vibe wherein you are too focused on the emotional side of things and not really focused on the relationship itself. You know, there is something unhealthy about the relationship set up over here and maybe you you have become a slave of your past or a slave of your own desire. So we have here, you know, telling us that it's time to take control back of your life you know that is basically uh the energy over here this can also be a situation we're in yes you know this could be um a time for you to really experience love again i kind of feel that you know it can happen in both ways uh this is this can also be a situation we're in there could be some goodness in the into the relationship something really magical can happen something very karmic and magical can really occur that allows the two of you to reconnect to each other i just kind of feel that very strongly again that you know you need to see the difference of being into the emotions and being um being elated and falling in love you know and having the reconnection back into your life again versus with can this relationship really work out you know uh you really need to see the difference of being regaining the connection with that person and um facing reality that they have changed and you need to love them for the person that they are at the present moment not with the person that they were before you know you might you should not um question them or or seek things that the two of you have experienced in the past maybe uh we might even be talking about you know maybe you guys were um young lovers way back and right now you are now matured and you know there's a huge gap or of age differences or it could huge gap of time maybe and you know i just kind of feel that there there are things that has changed and there are a lot of things that you need to acknowledge and accept all the same time to make the relationship really work out because if not you are you know yes you are going to be happy and elated for the moment and then you are going to be experiencing some form of frustration and then uh, this might trigger you feeling feeling stuck again feeling feeling um feeling as if the relationship is not entirely making you happy and you might even feel trapped or there could be a sense of unfairness that you are feeling that you might blame your partner for it uh but in but in reality this is about your own immaturity you know being unable to move forward in your life being a being unable to move on from the past of your relationship with them so that can be a, a, a huge struggle with this so it really is a matter of how you are going to face this uh, relationship from here on forward for um, people that are you know have chosen the second pile so um there is a need for you to to really take a look on uh your own feelings and how you are going to adapt to this relationship i just kind of feel that you need to really you know um you need to love the person as they are you know not 
not with their past, you know, not the person that they were when they were young, but the person that they become right here and right now. Because that is the only way for you to know whether you are still willing to spend your life with them or not. Uh, however, I do kind of feel that um, there could be some form of success later on that might be happening, you know, if you are if you will be able to overcome the adversities you are if you are going to be able to overcome or accept the past to how it was now then i kind of feel that you will be able to work things out with this person and it's going to be a relationship that can really really make you happy and happier um at the fullest you know it it will make you feel that it is all worth it i would say right now though this is really more of a, a time of uh, recognition of things that you are feeling things that they are feeling and really finding out the process of whether the relationship is going to be working out or not so um yeah and this is something that you both are going to talk things out you know so so for pile number two we are not seeing a, a, a strictly a yes or no answer but this is really going to be based on what's really going to be transpiring for the two of you in the, into the relationship but there's going to be a chance for the two of you to connect to really feel things out to really see whether their relationship can still work out so the fact that we are getting here the partnership and alliance card is really telling us that you know there could be some form of connection partnership involved between the two of you but whether the relationship can actually work out or not is going to be you know will depend on the specific situation of your relationship with this person so you know there is still a road that you need to take on whether it can work out or not so you still need to put your guards up i would say um for pile number two and just remember that the person that they were before will never be the person that they are once they enter your life and you will need to find a way whether you know whether you can accept that or not whether you are going to embrace that or whether that is going to create another set of problems for you, the two of you into the relationship onwards. So um, yeah, that's my reading for pile number two. Okay, so for those that have picked out the third pile with the crystal quartz, this is going to be the reading for you. And we do have quite a few clarifying cards as well. So um, let's get started. We do have here the card of Mercury. Mercury is about communication. So we do know for a fact that there is going to be some form of communication with you and your special partner. Whether it be someone from the past or someone that you're thinking about right now. And this is also an answer to whether you can still work out the relationship or not is going to be, you know, highly focused on the communication that might be transpiring or happening for the relationship itself. We have here the awareness card and the accelerated motion. So um, this is going to be a full blown communication setup. We have here lilies, clover, and coffin, along with the card of let go of control issues. So this might be a very explosive um, energy in place. And to clarify the coffin card, since I know some people will always be afraid of coffin cards, and just for me to get, you know, some form of information, uh, we have here um page of cups the moon card and the eight of wands into this reading to tell us what could be the information about that so um okay so um for the third pile i feel that communication is going to be a vital part of your situation and relationship during this time so there's going to be a lot of words a lot of conversations a lot a lot of talking can be happening here you might 
even be finding out something since we do have here the awareness card and there is a possibility that it could be something that you don't want to hear or maybe something can really caught you off guard into the situation you know you and my, this might end end up with you confronting that person all at the same time you know there it could also be a situation wherein there's a lot of thought process happening to you personally about your relationship and you know this might just you know turn ugly depending on how you handle it especially if you are a control freak i'm not saying that you are um you know whoever is a control freak into this relationship might you know start an argument of some kind they might come into your life in a very argumentative kind of way so there we, because there's going to be a lot of analysis into a situation you know thinking making some form of conclusions and you don't even know if the facts that you are thinking about the fact that they are telling are true or not you know there's going to be a lot of jumbled energy that might be um being shown over here I kind of feel that, you know, this is going to be a situation wherein something gets built up over time, you know, something is maturing or it could be like a communication or something is being overflown, you know, one thing over the other, everything's getting jumbled up and that might just lead to um, um, opening uh, some pathways or doorways into a relationship that can um that can really make you emotional you know or agitated this can create a lot of complications into the relationship i do know that there's going to be an increase of communication and this could also lead into you um There is going to be a chance to solve problems into the relationship, I feel. Um, there's going to be a lot of discovery and figuring things out. And there's going to be changes into the relationship because of the, um, the coffin card and the control, let go of control issues card. I just kind of feel that there could be something that can be very frustrating about this connection or this situation that you're going through there could be growth and development into the relationship but all at the same time this can also be something that that can create a lot of emotional conflict it's like the way the two of you are talking is a mixture of of being logical and being emotional at the same time and when you combine them it, it, it makes you feel that like it doesn't make sense and, and that might be just the energy that might be um being represented here you know there could be some form of you know creating completions into whatever it is that is in great concern of so uh, i just kind of feel that it could be a very frustrating moment for a lot of you guys because you are going to be finding out something and some of you guys might be thinking that they should let go of the relationship they want to end the relationship that is a very much of a possibility for some people they might make decisions in a very emotional way it doesn't mean that they mean what they say they are just very much triggered right here and right now so so um for some people that are thinking that they don't have any contact with that person uh you might be contacting them or they might be contacting you but it happens in a very aggressive way i would say you know it could be you know something very emotional something very upsetting um kind of energy it's like um someone messaging you um in a way because of some form of frustrations that they have found out you know find out that why you did not invite me over here or um you did something behind my back you know you might be like confronting the other person or the situation is basically starting off in a very upsetting way i would say 
upsetting but it doesn't mean that it can end with a very upsetting situation i just kind of feel that there's going to be some form of friction in terms of how you guys handle this in a very emotional way and the way for you to really settle things down is to not make certain conclusions you know because that is going to be the danger here if you are going to um conclude something but without facts that is actually going to lead up to a very troublesome situation uh, remember we have here the page of cups and the eight of wands so this is really more of a very impulsive way of speaking and it happens in a very emotional standpoint as well because we have the moon card with the page of cups over there so um yeah it can also be a situation because because of how these um, cards are. The, the coffin basically is not telling us that there's no communication that's going to happen. In fact, it's telling us that there could be some form of communication for better or for worse. You know, it could be happening in a way that you do not want things to be. You know, there could be some form of news that you might receive and then suddenly it is a news that might be devastating you know i don't know it could be a death of someone uh and they might be sharing that to you and that opens a pathway for the two of you to connect to each other i mean i hope that's not the case but i'm just giving examples so um yeah there is some form of very emotional circumstances here and finding out certain things into the relationship uh right now the most important thing is to not make um conclusions impulsive conclusions you know things that you did not thought about doing making decisions that that you are based upon what you are feeling at that moment in time that is something that you need to really really um be mindful of however this is going to create a lot of development and communication for the two of you uh, whether to work things out or not this might not be the time where in answers is going to be given because right now you are at the risk of you know creating complications into the relationship um, right now i would say that this is a situation wherein you are going to be feeling a lot finding a lot of things very very much an intuitive way even um but right now <laughs> i keep saying the word right now i don't know why <laughs> but um this is really more of a point wherein you really really need to be careful and you know you really need to check in what are the facts the real facts of a situation before you make uh, certain decisions in your life because you are at the risk of you know creating dents into the relationship you know but the goal that you should be aiming here is to really um to solve problems not to create problems and for the relationship to be in a smooth sailing kind of way wherein communications are going to be coming in uh you know getting information about things that you don't know those kinds of energies might be really in place this is a situation wherein um th things can happen in a very surprising ways there could be um, progress into the relationship however it might just happen in a way wherein you are you know there could be some form of heaviness in the air i mean this can happen in in various ways in different um situations i just kind of feel that there could be something happening to them personally or something something happening to you personally and this this is what you are going to be telling them that gives that idea that you know there might be some they might be figuring out or finding something very surprising about the relationship and you guys need to work that out or um one of you guys suddenly make a decision over something or did something um and someone is very upset about that and then you know there's a need for you guys to really work things out in that uh, moment in time so communication is definitely going to be a factor whether you guys can work things out the relationship right now i'm not seeing that because there is a risk that 
you might even make things a lot more complicated than it seems. So you need to hold your horses and not make sudden judgment and conclusions with it. So yeah, there is a form of warning into this reading. However, you know, you are going to be discovering uh, a lot of things which will help you solve any problems or dents into the relationship that you have with this person in mind. So that is my reading for the third pile.